What's up guys, this is Teddy. Welcome to my YouTube channel. This video, we're going to be talking about the list detail page. And this is one of the most common UI design patterns that you'll ever see in the world of software development. If you can master the list detail page pattern, um, you've gotten a huge chunk of web development figured out. So it's very important. Make sure to learn this topic. If you don't learn it from me, just make sure to learn it from somebody else because it's really important. So here's how a list detail page works. Very simple. You see this all the time. You're going through Facebook. You see your drunk aunt post something really political. You want to see what she said now. You click that detail page and you've just experienced a list detail page. A, a Facebook feed is literally just a really fancy list page. When you go to see your drunk aunt's political post, that's literally just a detail page. You're trying to get more details on, you know, what your crazy aunt just said. It's very simple. The way that we do list detail pages in Angular is going to be through our buddy here, the input and the input is going to be, you're going to see input all over in Angular because the whole entire idea of Angular is to pass down data. You're passing, remember, you're passing data down and in order to pass data down, data down, remember that data down, events up, that's the way I like the fuck. <laughs> you're using the input to pass data down and we will talk about events here a little bit, but just remember, very important, input down data is going down. So our app just kind of looks like this so far. We already have our Pokemon list and we already have this uh, Pokemon list coded up, but now we need to create our detail page and our detail page is where our input's going to be. So check this out and I accidentally move that over. So this, this is how the data flow is going to work. Pokemon is going to go down into Pokemon. So this is going to go, it's going to flow down into our HTML, then it's going to flow down into our quotes. Then it's going to hop over, it's like a little frog, he's just gonna hop over, he's gonna go into the detail, and he's gonna go down here into this. And that's pretty much the whole entire idea of it so that we can actually show our data into our detail page. And then we'll get, our detail page will be like this, and for each Pokemon, let me see, it'll say Pokemon is cool. So whatever Pokemon that is iterated through up at the top, it will say Pokemon is cool. And we will get Pokemon is cool. We will get three of them depending on which one is in our array. So Pokemon is cool, Pokemon is cool. And if you look up here, we have our NG4, which is going to iterate through and pass each Pokemon into here. So it's kind of like a little machine. It's going to iterate through. It's going to pass that into there, pass that into there, pass that into there, and then it's going to pass that into there, pass that into there, pass that into there. And that's how our actual data flow works. And this is, like I said, a huge chunk of software development. So make sure that you are paying attention to this one. So here we already have our list, but we don't have our detail page. Let's go ahead, let's create our detail page. That would probably be the, the for, uh, best first step. And this is how I'm going to actually create it. You can create it by going in here. Here's another aside if anybody wants to actually use this extension. There's an extension called Angular Files that automatically does all this for you. But just for everybody's sake, so maybe some people can't install this or they're on Visual Studio. I will go ahead and just use this command right here. So ng generate component and make sure that you're, you're going within your module. Remember that we're not creating this in the app module, we're creating this in our own separate feature module. Then we're gonna go in here and this little command right here is going to tie up all of our stuff. Or it's going to go ahead and wire it up for us. So we're gonna go there, going to create it if we look within here, we have our list and we have our detail. First thing that you always want to do is come in here and make sure that you have your Pokemon detail because Angular does not automatically do this for you yet. I guess it just doesn't, it just assumes that it, it knows nothing about modules, so it's not going to hook it up for you. But you always need to come in here and 
make this export or make sure to export this. Otherwise you won't be able to actually see it and it won't hook it up. So let's go in here and let's check out what's going on in our app uh, component. So we already have our Pokemon list wired up here. Now we need to get rid of all this. We need to do a little bit of refactoring. We need to get rid of all this junk in here. And we need to put this in our Pokemon list because this is going to be our smart component. Rem okay, so let's go back here. Just to kind of reiterate, and I talked about this a little bit before, but in case you're coming in from another video, this is a smart component. This is a smart component. Remember that. A smart component always passes data down to a dumb component. So this is the smart component. Our smart component is app or Pokemon list. Because that is the one that is going to get inform going to go get all of this quote unquote database information, which is not a database yet, but it will be here in a second. Then we have an app Pokemon detail. So we have Pokemon detail, and that is our dumb component. It's dumb because it's not getting any data. It's literally just accepting data. And it's accepting data through our buddy, our old pal, input. Input is just there to, once again, receive data. It's just like, it just takes data down. It never actually re receives any data from any database. It just takes data from a smart component. So we're, we're here. Then we need to go into our actual list or we need to go into our app component list and we need to get all this data out of the app because that is bad design that's a bad design to have any data that sometimes you need very crucial data in the app component but you want to keep all of your code out of the app component at all cost so we're going to go into here i'm going to go we'll worry about this error here in a second we can get rid of this we can get rid of this okay and what we need to do now is go and create a models folder so i've already got a models folder you might not have one but essentially create a models folder in your models or in your app called models just like that and many people are confused as to what a, a model actually is in theory, we could totally just say, we could just put an any here, and we could feasibly make just like our own arrays like this. And you see this all the time in JavaScript. You just see people create arrays on the fly. And with regular JavaScript, we can totally do that. But because we're in TypeScript, we have to make our own models. And we do that because it's good to have that type checking in case somebody comes in later and tries to change our models. It's not so much now because we are just working on our own personal project, but when you start working in like a production environment, all of this stuff is going to help a lot. So we're just gonna go in here, go Pokemon TS, and we're going to export all, we're going to export the interface out of there. So, oh, wait a minute, wrong thing. We're going to take this interface, we're going to get it out of here, and we're going to put it in here so that we can use it everywhere in our app. We could just have it in, We could, if you want to, you could just hard code it above each and every one. I wouldn't recommend that, but just because I know that we're going to be using Pokemon in other classes later, we're going to create our own folder. Okay, so let's just go ahead. I'm pretty sure that this should work. Let me just go ahead and check. We're just gonna check in through these folders really quick. Oh, I need to add this code into the detail. What I did there is I just went back. I need to take all of this code and I need to get it out of the app HTML and I need to put it into here. And let's go ahead in here. Let's see if this thing's working. Okay, great. That looks awesome. So now what we want to do is let's start working on our actual detail. So we go into our detail. And 
first things first is we need to actually put our input in here. So we're going to go at input, then we're going to create a detail. And then we're going to make sure that what's being passed down is a single Pokemon. We only want to receive one Pokemon. Big, big um, difference there. And also, just to make things easier on us, we're going to put what's called a bang or a null operator. Or a null coalescing. Null operator. Essentially, what's happening whenever you put the bang symbol there is if you don't put that... TypeScript is going to constantly yell at you. It's yelling at you because you could potentially introduce bugs into your code at a later date by having this set to null. So essentially, it's kind of trying to help you say, maybe you should do some null checking here. But in this case, we don't really need to. And a null check would be like an if else statement or putting this into here. So we would go down here and we would put this but the, I'll, this is easier right here so we'll go down in here and let's see kind of got went off on a tangent there so now what we want to do is because we're in the list we're going to come up here and we are going to use app pokemon detail and what we are going to do is we're going to make a for loop so go in here we'll go ng4 and we're going to have let pokemon of Pokemons and then we are going to pass we what we just made what we are going to do is we're going to pass each one into here so this is another important thing to kind of understand when it comes to angular and I talked about this very briefly what is going to happen here is it's going to iterate through each one of these Pokemon it's going to iterate through each one. It's going to, so we, we're going to, it's going to pass in this array into here. And it's essentially going to put this into a little iteration machine, a little iteration machine. And for each Pokemons, it's going to pass in that into there. And I'm starting to like, my whiteboard is starting to look crazy because I'm doing so many scribbles, but it's going to pass it into there. It's going to pass it into there. And that's the process of how it actually gets passed down dynamically iteratively iteratively we've essentially just taken all of these things we've strung them together and now we're using them to iterate we're using them all kind of like in conjunction with each other so we can actually get rid of we can put this down here so we can take this at pokemon detail we can put it down here we can copy this and then we can put it into our detail page. So we'll go down here. And that may have just been kind of confusing. And we can get rid of this ng4 because we're already iterating through it. And it's going to give us errors. Then we're going to put this code into our actual app Pokemon detail. So we'll go in here. So trying to see where the app actual... Then we pass it down here, and then we, we called this detail. We did not call this Pokemon. I called it detail because if it's kind of, we're getting too many Pokemon and Pokemons. So we'll go detail. So detail.id. Okay, so now we have Pikachu, we have Squirtle, we have Charmander. It kind of looks like doo-doo now, so I'm going to spruce this up a little bit and make sure that it actually displays whether the Pokemon is cool or not. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave the cool bull, and then I'm just going to go over here. I'm going to get rid of this because, like I said, that looks terrible. And I'm going to add detail dot is cool is equal to true. Have a ternary operator is cool. Then I'm going to come over here and we're going to go is not cool. Is this because if the Pokemon is not cool, I also want to know. So go in here and here we go. Pikachu is not cool. Squirtle is cool. Charmander is cool. We have now established our ultimate Pokemon app. We can move on to events. Anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed this. If you did, make sure to hit that like button. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. And as always, thank you for watching.